This is a testimony of Jerry Mutsehwa, a man who was invited to a Sunday service in Freedom for All Nations Outreach. He never returned home the same way he came. For over two years, Mr. Mutsehwa lived with respiratory disease, and the doctors told him that there is no cure. But what is impossible with men is possible with God. Let's listen to his testimony. Yes, I wanted to ask you, since you have came to, to Freedom for All Nations, yes. you testified that you are feeling much, much better. Yes, I did. Yeah, and the, you, you've been using machines before to breathe, you were using oxygen every time to breathe. More than that two years, yeah. Wow. Yes. It's a special kind yeah, of You're welcome, Camille. Thank you so much. See, as you can see, hmm. this machine I'm using here. Yeah? Wow. This, this is the one for our this electrician one. Mm -hmm. This one is just a refill bottle. So you were living your life with these machines? I've been living day. my life for two years with those machines. For two years you've been two using these machines? Yeah. Now that one I've been using it for a whole night. Putting it on me to breathe for the whole night. Mm -hmm. This one I've been using often when there is no power. Mm. All over the night. But this one we were using it with power. Yeah, it's, that one you use electricity. electricity. Yeah. Wow. So every day when I come from work, after work I must sit there on the machine for more than two hours, three hours, having some food after eating there, get a bath after having a bath. Get to bed, I must use that machine. Wow. Tell us. How often did you use this machine? Yes. Are you used You're not using it anymore? No, 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 I'm not using it anymore. Mm. No, 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 no. Since I went to church, mm. actually, let me say, it's from the third of this month. Mm. No. Is, this, is it the day that you visited Freedom yeah, for All Nations? I visited it. It was on the third, I think mm. so. Mm -hmm. It was on Sunday. Mm. You know, it was a medical for me. I don't know what happened, actually. Mm. But I, I, you know. I did breathing very nice. The same time at the church. When After the, the men of God prayed for you. Prayed for me, yeah. So tell us, before the men of God prayed for you, how did you live? How were you surviving? I was surviving. I said, see, I'm carrying this oxygen with mm. me. Working from here to the Marawasa, to the square there. It mm. was difficult for me. I have to stay. To start be yeah. using inhalers, yeah. using medication. So every day you had to. Every often, every now and then. Every now and then. So that was like every was, few yeah. minutes you yeah. have to start using one of those. It was bad for me. Eh? Wow. But after man of God prayed for me, I'm telling you, that's not a joke. For me, I can feel I'm healed. Mm. Mm. So I want to know now. You went to the hospital, and they told you that something is wrong with your lungs. And they diagnosed you, they gave you medicine, they gave you uh, medication and inhalers to use. And uh, you were telling me earlier on that the hospital refused to discharge you without the state. Yeah, yeah, I think that, when was it? I went to the hospital, I've got a date here. Let me get my one idea. Mm. Because that time, uh, they, they refused to discharge mm. me. They said to me, no, 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 they can't discharge me because I won't reach my distance. Mm. I won't reach at home because... Really, I need that ex extension board. Mm. It was in. Um, give me a minute, yes, yes. Yeah. That was on. A, they, you know, I came. I went to the hospital. Mm -hmm. It was on Monday. Mm. And then they discharged me on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. They didn't want me to go home on Wednesday. Mm. On Wednesday. Sleep day, okay. Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday.
Friday when my, my sisters and my, uh, my nephew bring that bottle for me, that oxygen, the same bottle, mm -hmm. they brought it to me at George Mukari Hospital. Wow. And then they gave me this shot, right? They refused it, they said, you can't go with the checks. We have to hire my, my car mm -hmm. to bring me. Because you were high risk. They thought without an oxygen yes. or yes. A, a, a proper yeah. care, yeah. you won't make it. I said, they said, me public transport, you will make it. We hire a taxi to bring me right on the gate the very same Friday when I get the check. So how often did you visit the hospital for your condition? I can't even think. I have to breathe. You know, I, have, I, I couldn't have to breathe here. Because many times here, my sister phone was remember that twice, where I've hired a place to stay there. They, 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 the phone number was twice. Mm. I was going in and out to of the know, hospital. Yeah, hospital mm. or the ah. clinic, the the clinic, to get that oxygen mm. that I can breathe. Where is the proof of your you hospital see. appointments? Here's my appointments proof card. Uh, yeah, that's mm. that's with George Mukari Hospital. You see, when is my, my next appointment? And it cost me money. Every now and then I must go to the hospital. To the hospital? Cost, yeah. That's Steve Biko. This is a Steve Biko hospital card. That's every month, mm -hmm. Steve Biko, Josh Mukari. Steve Biko, Josh Mukari. Wow. So this, is, this used to be your life? This is, used to be my life. Wow. As they told me, even the doctor told me that you're going to use this thing for your life. Mm. So, so now we're going, the doctor told you that yeah. you're going to use this for the rest yeah, of your life? Yeah, they said, they, they told me so that I can't get healed. I won't be healed. It was impossible for you to get yeah, healed. They said this way, what I've got mm. is silicosis or something, silicosis. Say what I've got is something like, so those people who are working in the mines, mm. they're getting the dust of the stones. Mm. Because I was also working, but I didn't work in the mines. Mm. I was cutting some of the stones that, that when we rebuilt, at the Union Building. I mean, we, we used to put a new stone at the Union Building, okay. Post Office, mm. High Court in Petrola, mm. yeah. Bloemfontein, Kimberley. So you apparently you actually worked with a lot of dust? Yeah. Wow. Cutting those stones with the crime and all. That sickness. Does it not go away? No. It doesn't get healed? It doesn't get healed. So now we need you to show us how you were using this oxygen. If it's not if it, there's no power, you can use it from this. Uh, if there's no power, I used to take this one. Mm -hmm. But there is no power. I can't breathe at that time. Mm -hmm. I must sit there with a big pillow at the back. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sit there, I couldn't sit like. So you had to support your bed? Support my bed. Mm -hmm. This is the way I was using it. <sighs> Supporting my bed. With the big pillows. Mm. Oh, it was very hard for me to breathe. Eh? Mm. I sit there, not talking to anybody <coughs> for maybe like 30 minutes. Mm. Then that breath comes back again. When it comes back, and then I can feel no, 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 something is changed. Yeah, you are feeling. I can it. move back again, put in my pillow back, mm -hmm. talk to the people. Mm -hmm. But when it's tight, I don't want to talk to the people because really, it's very bad on me. Because you can't, you can't have strength to communicate. Yeah. So that means you have to wait for your lungs to open to first open. Because, yeah. before you can communicate. As now they say they're going to check my lungs again on the June, 6th of June, lung function, because now I'm going only for my treatment in med medication. Mm -hmm. So on 6th June, I must go into lung function mm -hmm. to see how what's going on. But as far as I am concerned, I can see now things have Changing at all, things is change. So after the prayer from the men of God, you I never said, used this again? No. Never? No. Wow. That's a miracle. Really? Wow. Because, that's what I see. I feel very difficult at a, at a change. Was, after the men of God prayed for me, mm. I, feel, I feel those lungs were open. Mm. Even now we're open. Wow. Yeah. They've been open since. Yeah. Wow, glory be given to God. That's what I say, I will follow up because really, there, I can see there's my life. Today. Yeah, that's where God is. Yeah, that's where God <laughs> is. He, he's been waiting for me yeah. to come get to heal me. That's, yeah. that's what I see.
<laughs> very nice. Yeah, glory be given to God. Now we need to show us how you can remove that one and you show this us one. how this one works. That one is the same. You see, that machine is very important. This one, this one I open it mm. for the air. Mm. This way, the first the air when it's on, the air must go first out and close it again. Mm. When it's open, you can you don't feel that they're coming up. Mm. You don't feel your nose. So this one is the one yeah. that is connected with this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See, when I've when I've closed it, close it now. Mm -hmm. It's on. Put that one in. Same thing. It needs support. If you got that thing, you need support your back at the back. So that you, you can must. open up your chest. Yes, yeah, that your chest can open. Mm -hmm. You need a big big pillows at the back. That the chest can open. Mm. So this one, more or less, was I've been using it. Been let's mean the whole night. Mm. When I come back from work, I've, after I eat, after bath, putting it for the whole night. Wow. So for a long. So you night. had to use this to sleep. Yeah. Even daily too. Daily as well. Mm. When I'm at home, I must use it. This one, I'm using it when it, there's no power. If the power is. I don't use it. Mm. I mean, so what did the doctor say? If you don't use this, what was going to happen to you? You know, when you are sleeping. When, when they take a temperature, they say, I breathe under AG. Mm. My breath must go 98, 96, mm. like mm. 98. Mm. But when I breathe, mm. that's why I, I was get blocked. Mm. It goes to under 80, 82, wow. 84. Mm -hmm. So you can't live when breathing 84. Mm. You must live when you breathe in 94, 92, 90 and upward. Mm. But I was lower, lower to 80. Lower than 80. Yeah, less than 80. Less than 80. Yeah. So that means if you slept with this, without, yeah. without it, you yeah. were going to die. Yeah, I'm going to die. Are you, are you using it to sleep now that the men of God paid for No, 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 I don't use it. You never used it since no, the men of God paid for No, no, I don't sleep with that. I don't use it anymore. So now that you came to Freedom for All Nations and God healed you, what is your word of advice to the people who are watching you at home? You know, I want to invite, I just want to let people know, if you believe in God, if, if they want to see that word, if you believe in God, you can go to pray. You mm -hmm. can go to freedom of all nations. Mm -hmm. You will see, as, as they see me, people mm -hmm. in Sojangove, they all know, most mm -hmm. of them, they know me. Mm -hmm. It was hard for me to, to breathe. Mm -hmm. Most of my friends, families, people of social group, especially Block X, mm -hmm. have stayed long with me. Mm -hmm. They must come and ask me, how did you heal? I'll take them there. You don't pay even a single cent there. Uh -huh. There's no like in younger paying 200 rand, 500 mm -hmm. rand, 22, mm -hmm. 20 rand, no. Mm -hmm. For free. For free. But you'll get healed. Uh -huh. That's what I want to Permanent say. healing. Permanently. For yeah. free. As doctors say, I want to be healed. But I believe. For so you, free. you were spending a lot of money of course, in, in the out, hospital. In and out. In and now, hospital. only your first time visitation in Freedom yes. for All Nations. Amen. God gave you free healing. That's what I'm saying. And permanent. Permanent. Wow. So that's where I belong. That's what I've told my sister. This is the, 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 this is my sister. Mm -hmm. I've told her. She told me Saturday I was here, and I told her I'm sick. Now. Mm. I say, you, Sunday morning. I say, you don't go to church. You won't make it to go to your place. Mm. I said to his sister, he said, yeah, Satan, no, I don't yeah. want Satan to yeah. stand on me. I yeah. am going. When I come back from church, I came straight. In. Yeah. Says you give one of the Yes. So that means. I prayed. Yes. And God <laughs> heard you. Of God prayed for us then. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fun of you was. That is the testimony of uh, Jackie Mutsewa. As you saw for yourself, these are the medications that he was using every night. Every day he had to live with this medication, taking those pills, using those inhalers, using these big machines to breathe at night. And with this, he had to use, every time he got tired, he had to sit down, relax himself, use a pillow to support his chest, and start breathing. But today, we found him in his garden, working without any inhaler, without any oxygen. God is still doing something. God is real. 
I know that some of you gave up on God because of what you see out there as deception that is taking place in different churches. But there is God that is still operating and we are seeing him doing the mighty work in freedom for all nations. We are situated in 2601 Van Half Road, Kekne, Pretoria, South Africa. There's a number in your screen. If you know somebody who needs to have a touch of God, like this gentleman, God is there and God really does heal. And you are about to receive your healing as you come and connect yourself in freedom for all nations. God will touch you as well. Remember to keep watching Fano TV and stay blessed.